I think it's fair to call David Blaine a glutton for punishment. He's been buried alive, encased in ice, and submerged in water, so now, naturally, he's opting for electrocution. <laughs> naturally. Well, at this hour, one million volts are currently flowing across his body and won't stop until tomorrow night. ABC's Rachel Smith has the story. Underground, high in the sky, and even frozen solid. He's walked away from it all. David Blaine! Illusionist David Blaine's latest death-defying stunt has him electrified. I got closer to the ear-piercing electrical sphere than any other journalist. I imagine your feet are probably throbbing at this point. They, they swelled up so big that it, it ripped a hole in the chain mail. The 39-year-old endurance artist is pushing the envelope yet again with this shocking spectacle standing 73 hours in a 40-foot globe with a million volts of crackling electricity flowing toward him. But is the public really buying the hype? Because some people may say it's fake, but in all honesty, just to think of something like that is amazing. He's just really cool, the stunts he does. In his latest stunt, the audience can actually take part controlling the intensity of the electricity. It's a real-life video game. It is, yeah. <laughs> people can come down here and interact and control the electricity but also at pop-up locations in Beijing, Tokyo, Sydney, and London. But a game with real-life consequences, like how does he go to the bathroom? So he has a catheter with a special tubing system. So we have fluids going in, we have fluids going out, and he'll be okay. There is, of course, a chance that something could go wrong. But it's the possibility of the unthinkable that keeps us all in awe of the illusion. For Good Morning America, Rachel Smith, ABC News, New York.